Hello, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use base maps from the internet and how to add those base maps to interactive map using the GE map Python package. So in the previous video, I already show you how to use Conda to install the package and how to use Jupyter Notebook to create interactive map. So for today, we're going to look into how to use base maps. And first of all, we need to uh, open the terminal and uh, to show what Conda environment that we created. So you can type the command uh, Conda env list to show you uh, the Conda environment already on your computer. So for today, we're going to use the GEE uh, Conda environment. So all we need to do is Conda activate GEE. And then once you are inside the environment, you can type Jupyter Notebook. Enter is to open a new tab on your browser. So then from here, we can start um, create notebook. We are going to use the, the folder that we created. And then we are going to create a new Jupyter Notebook. So from here, we can change the name of the notebook. For example, uh, basement. Okay. And so uh, this is the introduction for the GE map Python package. If you don't know uh, this one, you can GE map uh, on your Google, just hit GE map uh, GitHub. Then you should be able to find the GitHub page at the first link, just click. So here shows you the, uh, the source code and you can directly scroll down to here to the uses page. In here, I show you some examples that how you can create a map, okay? So for example, you can directly just uh, copy this one and then come back to the notebook page. So all you need to do, uh, just Alt Enter and you should uh, see this interactive map right away, okay? So the GE map package is built upon uh, IPY leaflet. Uh, it's a very powerful, Python library that you can create interactive map. But this new package is designed to um, work with Google's engine. So it, it brings all the analytical functionality of Google's engine into IPY leaflet. So, and these are the three lines you can use to quickly create an interactive map. Just to let you know that the reason why I use this uh, um, variable map is to be consistent with uh, the Google Earth Engine JavaScript API. Uh, the map here is the uh, the variable used in the JavaScript API. So, but you don't have to use the same. You can change lowercase or any variable that you want. It will work the same way, okay? So I use the uppercase just to be consistent with the JavaScript API. And again, so when you create a new map, uh, you can choose the center. So for example, by default, you can, uh, if you don't put anything, you will also create the same one. Um, so it will also work using the default, but you can change the center. So for example, I can change the center to, um, so this is the uh, latitude and longitude and the zoom level. So you can change this, customize these parameters as you want. Okay, so this one back to, uh, Longitude 100 degree east. So let me change it back to the US in here. Okay, so we have the base map, but uh, if you want more base map, you can certainly add um, to that. So I'm gonna show you like what base map is available. So you can um, you can either go to the GitHub page, and then from here, if you scroll up to the source code from the GE map, if you click. There's a Python script called base maps. If you open, this one shows you all the base map available. And all you need to do is just to uh, grab the name in here, which one you like, and then copy. And then I'm gonna show you how to add this one to um, to the map. And overall, there are um, 62 base map right now. Um, but make sure that here at the, at the bottom here, I also incorporate those base map that already available in the IPY leaflet uh, library. So, um, but I added some additional, for example, the USGS and the net imagery and national land cover database. 
and for example, also on uh, uh, wetlands inventory from the uh, Fish and Wildlife Service and ESRI map. So in here, if you want more base map, uh, you can, I'm going to talk about later, but for now, that's uh, enough. So for example, if you're interested in using the Google map, all you need to do, you can copy this one, come back to here. So because this one is already an interactive map, everything you're doing is uh, you just modify this uh, uh, variable. So I'm going to map dot add base map. So once you hit tap, you can show this one here and then just add this one, close parentheses, and then double quotes, row map. And then alt enter. So here you see the new base map added to the map and you can uh, turn it on and off. Uh, up to you. So by default, there's also an uh, open street map uh, in the background here, but you can add more layers. And also you can, for example, if you want to use more, let's say you want the um, Esri National Geographic, I can copy this one, come back to here, you can add another line, add uh, base map, and then couple quotes, hold enter. So again, you, you see, you can, it's very easy to add all the base maps uh, in here, right? And sometimes you might want to see um, all the base maps uh, all at once. Um, I also provide a shortcut that you can create easily. Again, I'm gonna show you, for example, I can create a new one called GE map, uh, top map. So I'm gonna create a new map and then to show you all the base map all at once and then map dot. Uh, there's a function called uh, base map, p a s e map, uh, base map underscore demo, and then hit enter map. So now you have all the base map uh, here. You can have a drop down list that you can select the base map. So for example, you can select this one. You can select any base map you like. There are right now 62 base map in here. So for example. NLCD, National Land Cover Database, and also some of the those, those uh, inherit from IPY leaflet. So for example, you can change to whatever base map that you like. And this is a quick way that if you want to explore some of the base map uh, you like, if there's any other base map that you really like, you can open uh, an issue on the GitHub page. I can certainly add those uh, to the uh, to the source code so that you can just use um, a keyword to add the base map. Okay, so there's uh, two ways you can uh, add the base map, but if something is not available in the package, you can go online so to find other uh, base map available using uh, WMS or uh, XYZ type service. So let me go back to the GitHub page and go back to the main page. From here, I show you how to add additional base map. Um, so there are two functions available in here. So add WMS. Uh, so WMS stands for Web Map uh, Service. And all you need is just a link and then the name of the layer. You can also add XYZ type uh, maps to the map. So for example, we can just simply copy and copy this one and then come back here. I'm going to add this one to the map in here. So for example, I can just copy and paste this one. And so basically we have the URL for the WMS map and you pass in the URL and the name of the layer. And this is the name that you want to show it on the layer control uh, in here. And also the format. And all you need to just hit one. Then you should add this one um, to the map. So this is the uh, USDA net imaging one meter resolution. So you see in here, uh, it might not be very clear, but I can add a new, for example, add, dot, add uh, base map. I add the net imagery on top of this one. Okay, so this is one way you can uh, quickly add the base map to um, the GE map so that you can integrate the data with other data sources from the internet without having to um, create one by yourself. 
So if you want to find more data, you can uh, go to uh, the source code here and you can explore some of these links. For example, if you go to the USGS national map, if you click the link, open here, here shows you a tons of base map that you can use. And, and so for example, if you click uh, base map, right? So all you are looking for is the WMS. So this one we work uh, directly with the IPY leaf lab or um, the, the uh, WMS layer. All we need to do, just uh, for example, we click this one and then copy this URL from here for this person. Don't copy the one after the request. Those are not needed. Okay, so you don't need this person. All you need to do is just this one. And then from here, copy. And then come back to here. You can change the URL. Okay, so from here, all you need to do is change the URL. Paste. And uh, so you, you can change the name of the layer. But you need to make sure that you uh, find out the name of the layer. So you can use Control F and then type name. So here it shows you some of the uh, layer within the, um, the WMS tile layer. So the name is called zero. So all you need to do is just come back to here. Okay, it's already zero. Then you can change the name, for example, to uh, USGS imagery. Okay, and then again, just hit one. Then you should be able to see the new base map in here coming into the interface map. Uh, pretty nice because uh, Google is engine the JavaScript API. You, you cannot add other base map um, to to their code editor. But in here, it's very flexible. You can bring in all kind of uh, data sources from the internet, and then so that you can overlay on top of other data uh, data layers to explore uh, things that you are interested in. Okay, so that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.